was a good man, a good man. Wandering lonely in the desert, he invited me to stay. Oh yeah, yes, it is time to put my Hamburg Marathon goals, not on paper, but on video. For all of you, welcome to the studio. We're diving right in today. No outside filming, although I, today was a double day for me. Uh, if you want to see the details of the runs, you can go check them out on Strava. All right, so thus far, we've done Amsterdam. I'm a man named he was a good man, a good man. Wandering lonely in the desert. There you go. That was the Amsterdam Marathon from last fall. And yes, two weeks later, the New York City Marathon. And then about three weeks ago, yes, we announced together, True Love and I, my next marathon in Germany. It is going to be, drum roll, 2020 Spring Marathon. Hamburg, Hamburg, Germany. We're coming for After you. that announcement, I decided it was time to put down, yes, once again, on video for all of you, the six tips that I've learned, the lessons that I've learned from Amsterdam, from New York City, so that I can apply them to Hamburg. Study the course, study the course. And this goes for, yes, other distances as well, but I can't tell you, can't tell you how important this is, is to get to know the course that you're going to be racing on. And one of those tips, tip number three that I shared in that vlog from three weeks ago, I must absolutely 100% right now heed my own advice, which is one of the purposes of this vlog right now. And tip number three that I wish I would have known, pacing groups is so essential. Find your pacing group ahead of time, all right? Get the discussion going, and this is a tip of the day. There, most marathons I have seen recently, at least the bigger ones, have a, a Facebook group dedicated to uh, that particular marathon for each year. So critical. That's my tip number three that I shared. Lesson learned from New York City and from Amsterdam in, in different ways in both of those races. And as I've already mentioned, again, about three weeks ago, one of the reasons I have uh, become very excited about road racing over ultra running, which I had been doing over the past four to five years, is that uh, this idea of racing and packing up, finding your pace group, and working together as a unit down the road, it's so fun. It's basically a throwback to uh, collegiate and high school cross country when you find your pack of runners and yes, you're competing against each other, but you're also working together, the power of that unit. And in ultra running, I love ultra running. I love the mountains, I love the trails. But especially, well, especially when I'm doing ultra races, a lot of times I'm finishing, you know, top five, top 10, and it's no man's land a lot of the time. I was thinking back, like, is there an ultra race where I was packed up with a group, a group of other runners? And the only one that I could think of was the Lake Sonoma 50 miler out in California, where I was with a group of runners, I think it was four of us, so a small group of four of us for about five miles out of that first 25 mile leg of the course. And that was it. And then I, once again, I was in no man's land. So it's just become, and maybe it's part of my personality and it's probably something to uh, dig into in your own life. Like, I don't know, I guess I prefer running in groups and running together and racing together where you're just mano a mano. And so um, Amsterdam, you know the story there, went with a group, but the group ended up being too fast. We were going 5.05 approximately, maybe even, yeah, 5.05 to 5.02 per mile, the first 13 miles, which was beyond my ability at that time. And then in New York City, I packed up uh, with Jordan and Jordan and I ran together for about 15 miles approximately. And then we both, you know, we went our separate ways and both of us were in no man's land once again. So anyway, that is, uh, that is the tip number three, lesson number three that I'm trying to apply to Hamburg. And now for my goals for the Hamburg Marathon 2020, I have them listed here, uh, five goals. Okay, I'm just gonna go right down the list. Goal number one is yes, I know it's a little cliche, but goal number one, 
is to learn, and I really mean this, but to really learn from the six lessons that I laid out in that vlog from three weeks ago. Like I'm, I'm sticking to it and it applies to the third goal here in a second. So that's goal number one is to actually apply these lessons to the next marathon, not just put them out there on the internet and not heed my own advice, okay? So that's goal number one. Goal number two, yes, arrive at the starting line as fit as possible, as fresh as possible, and as healthy as possible, okay? You know how I always am saying that. Goal number three is to, oh yes, find the pacing group. And we'll come back to this in a minute, but to, so on Strava, I am part of the Hamburg Marathon uh, group on Strava, but the activity in the group, like the DeBoer Global Running Strava group is hopping. There's a lot of activity there. The Hamburg Marathon group is pretty, I'm not seeing a lot of chatter about pacing and groups. So also on Facebook, I have liked their uh, Hamburg Facebook page and but i can't find a hamburg marathon facebook group who knows maybe i need to start it myself but again i'm trying to create that chatter about how can i find these pacing group the the, the pacing group for me okay so that's goal number three goal number four whoo this is gonna be this is gonna develop but um <laughs> more even splits. I'm not going to say even splits, meaning the first half marathon is a similar time to the second half marathon. Similar. Um, I'm a big proponent for me personally that I think negative splitting is very challenging. Uh, it can be done. People have done it, but I think it's, it is challenging. So, um, and this connects to goal number five here in a second, but uh, to be as even split as possible for both half marathons is goal number four. Obviously in Amsterdam, went out too fast. New York City was, you know, two weeks later, 900 feet of vertical gain going over the bridges of New York. So it was, it was very challenging to go even, partially because I was, you know, tired from Amsterdam, but also just the bridges, the 900 feet, it was, that was a challenge. So uh, that's goal number four. And goal number five, yes, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to say it. Sub 219, I'm not afraid to say it. And, you know, there's been some comments like, Seth, maybe you're not made for that sub 219. And uh, that's a fair assessment based on a 223 and a 224. Like, who knows? But obviously you have to try. And I don't listen to those comments um, as far as like the inner drive that I have to chase down that 219. Like, I'm not giving up on that goal. And um, the 219, oh yeah. So the other reason I'm confident that I can actually run sub 219, which is that Olympic trials qualifying standard for this this go around, which it's going to change. And by the way, I think it's going to get faster for men and women for 2024 Olympics uh, going into Paris in 2024. I think at least in the United States, the I bet it's 218.30, maybe 218 low. Uh, who knows? And then for the ladies, I think it will drop as well. That's another subject for another day. But um, sub 219, why I'm confident I can hit that number is because of some of my old teammates at the University of Colorado who have been, you know, doing marathons for much longer than I have. You know, they're up to like eight or 10 marathons in their post-collegiate racing career. And we did similar workouts, similar times in college, and they have gone under 219. So I know it's in me. I just gotta continue to gain that experience uh, on the roads, racing fast on the roads, uh, perfecting my own training, and obviously workouts later in the training block to get ready for those faster paces. Okay, I'm cutting to this clip because I forgot to say this and I turned the camera off and realized, wait a minute, I forgot to ask for your help to connect to uh, some Hamburg, uh, some local Hamburg running groups or clubs that could basically get the conversation going with, okay, who is going for that 219 marathon pacing, all right? So I'm putting it out there, all the, lo everyone in Germany, uh, if you have connections to local clubs or any runners out there that are interested in chasing down 219, I want to create a group of, I want, I want it to happen. Like, and listen, like some of the elites, you know, or many of the elites, they're going to be going 206 to 208, uh, for the winning time. And I, you know, it's just beyond my ability at this point. So, uh, yeah, let's get the conversation going. Email me or, uh, better yet, maybe, uh, connect with me on Twitter or Facebook. That would be amazing. I'm, I'm excited. So this is one of the goals of this vlog is to create, the, create the group that's going to make it happen. So, all right. Roll the tape. There you go. My five goals, once again, here they are listed. 
Uh, I'm excited, and I wanted to put them out there on video for all of you to see so that uh, you can hold me accountable to chasing these down. And yes, question of the day, what is your, what is one goal for your next race? Any distance. One goal, if you want to list five goals, you can, Is but uh, those are my five goals again. But again, for you, what is one goal for your next race, any distance, any surface, and let us know down in the comments. That'll be great. And that is the vlog for today. I kept it a little shorter, a little simpler, busy day, double day. Um, yeah, just some things going on with the family that uh, when, <laughs> baby's not coming, don't worry, but just some activities happening that I needed to keep it concise. Here in the studio. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Another day, another run. All right, everyone. We're going to toss it back on the right to the Amsterdam Marathon blog, my first marathon of my life. That'll be on the right hand side. And click on that box. You can check that out. And then on the left, we'll toss it back to the Spring Marathon 2020 uh, ch is Chosen blog, where True Love and I share the news. All right, everyone. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.